this place. Thank you, Lord, because your presence already resides here awaiting us. We are here, Lord, to declare your glory, to fellowship with you, where it concerns the children that you have given to us. We give you all the glory, Lord. Let's unmute ourselves and begin to pray in other tongues, thanking him, thanking him, for he alone is worthy of our praise. He alone is worthy of our praise. Thank you very much for joining. And if you have to take a few seconds to remind somebody, we have less than 60 minutes. Let's do it together. Unmute yourselves, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray in the Holy Ghost. The Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, if you if when you bless the Lord in the spirit, you do so perfectly. Father, we bless you in other tongues this evening. We bless you in the prayer language of the spirit. We know you are here with us. We know you are ready for us. We know, Lord, that you are eager to meet with us. Hallelujah. Do I have any witnesses in the house this evening who will lift up their voice? and say thank you Abba Father thank you Abba Father for your presence so God we say thank you unto the gathering unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be Lord we worship you we glorify your name. Thank you for the children that you have given to us. Oh, go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for the children that are in your care, the ones that are yours biologically, the ones that are yours spiritually, the ones that are yours from your from your sisters, from your cousins, the ones that are in your care. Thank you for my children. Thank you, Lord, for our children. We thank you, Lord, for our children. Reke sete ribara basoda. Reke beria de brinde gosada. We thank you for our sons. We thank you for our daughters. I want you to consciously, consciously give thanks for every child. Reke sete koshada. Imperio doso toriana. Think about the goodness of God that is expressed in that child. I say, Lord, I thank you for Tobisi. I thank you for Ifaichuku. Thank you because they are children that are God fearing. Thank you because they are children that are obedient to some parental authority. Thank you because they are growing up into wonderful young men of God. Lord, we come with our 
sacrifice of praise. We the Sotakida. We come with a sacrifice of praise for every child in a care. I come with my sacrifice of praise for my nieces and my nephews. I come with my sacrifice of praise, Lord, for my godchildren. I come with my sacrifice of praise, oh Lord, for the for the spiritual children in my care. Lord, Iberiada Sokaya, for all my mentees, for all the children that are in my care. Lord, I thank you. Reke Soto Kashada, Ebenye Hizanda. Now let us offer a sacrifice of praise unto our God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Roko Soto Podia Hazada. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have got the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have got the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the God that answers prayers. It is to Him that we have come this evening. We let the words of God, let your heart contemplate the word of God. Give thanks to the Lord who has been valiantly, Lord who has done marvelous kindness in the midst of a strong city. Give thanks to the Lord who are at his name. Every knee has bowed. Roko sete brede ke shanga. Yeto brede ke sinto. O barre te sita. E brede ki shete te. La brodo sinto. Brede ki shoto. Dada ho soto to. Robo bo brodo soto to to bo. Eke. E brede kia. Roko shite te. Soto to to to. Re soto to to to. Le brede ki we thank the Lord some more tonight, the God of our salvation, the God of salvation. Oh, the Bible says salvation belongs to our God. Concerning the salvation of our children, we say salvation belongs to our God. The salvation of our children is the work of our God. And this evening we declare that the salvation of God is the property of our children. In the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to pray over every child. Make sure that you're not just praying into the air and, and just thinking generally. You have those children in your view and you are calling them by name and you are saying in the name of Jesus according to the word of the Lord the Bible says God who wants everyone to be saved First Timothy chapter 2 4 it says God wants everyone to be saved I'm reading the Berean Standard Version the Bible it says he wants everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth this is the will of God brothers and sisters that is the highest Thing that you could that you could ever see in the life of, of your children. I don't care what those other needs are, but this one, if you don't get it, then you mean you lose everything. Jesus said, What will it profit a man if he will gain the whole world, gain all the degrees in this world, become the best astronaut, become the richest, become the best this and the best that, but lose your own soul? Hey, what can a man exchange for his own soul? And that is why, as intercessors, we 
always make it our priority that this one thing our children cannot afford to smell that second death they can always go for the second birth which jesus said you must be born again as we pray i don't want you to just beat it beat the air think of every child in your care the scripture says here that everyone might be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth so they're not just saying no i'm born again because we took them to church but they will come to a thriving a, a, a thriving uh, definite knowledge of the truth that they will have a relationship with the lord through his word through his spirit that they'll have an encounter with the lord that that drives their relationship with him in the name of the lord jesus of you yourself and begin to call on your on the lord on the salvation of our god over your own children lord we declare the salvation of our god over all of the children represented here over my children over the children of the brethren here over all the children that are, that are represented in this place, whether they are our biological children or not, we bring them before you, O oh God, and we ask for the ministry of the Holy Spirit to advance in the work of salvation over their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you said, Oh man, it is your desire that all human beings will be saved. We come in agreement with the ministry of the Holy Spirit for the salvation of our sons, for the salvation of our daughters. We come in agreement with the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And we say that our children's hearts are yielded to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Your desire that might be have come to do your will, O God, that our sons and our daughters might be saved. Our power available for the salvation of the souls of our children, make sure available a thriving spiritual journey of our children. Lord Jesus, to distract our children from a thriving relationship with Jesus. Into the heart of every child in our care, you will serve the Lord. So you will serve the Lord. Your mind and declare like Joshua. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Rekesoto brede hisete, libro dogo soto soto. Rekisete brede hisoto, berikesuta ruba doshege. Rekesi borio doskita. As for me and my house, as for me and my house. Oh, as for me, alolu aso bisi ademiju. As for me, adifai chuku ademiju. As for me. And Chilimayakachi, as for me and all my nieces and my nephews, we will serve the Lord. Rekeselebakashada, Toto, Menemesikariana Husana, the Predes Karibasota, Medikeshede, Satatatatatatatatatatia la Kosada, Etalabasodia Toto, the Pediana Hazana, the overpowered of Morris. We know that power voices that are contrary to the Spirit of God. That power voices. We know that power voices contrary to the Spirit of God. Contrary to the Spirit of God. We pull down strongholds of voices against the will of God. Rekeseto bradashkida matoto toshada iperiene hilene rokus idene dene. Mazi 
Brothers and sisters, there is an agenda. <laughs> there is an agenda out there. It's an evil agenda. And we know from Second Thessalonians 2 7 that the, the work of the 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 well, the, the spirit of lawlessness, pardon me, the spirit of lawlessness is already at work. The spirit of the Antichrist is already out there running riot, creating all sorts of alternatives for our children, for you and I. Jesus has given us, according to Luke chapter 10, 19, the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, to tread upon all of the works of the devil, and, and that includes voices, Sees or that are contrary to the counsel of God. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, he says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We want to go after those strongholds that those voices have created, voices of, of antichrist agenda, voices of antichrist religiosity, voices of the new age, voices of spirituality that is not of God, voices of, of, of ideologies and, and arguments that create a barrier a barrier for the for, for, for the light of, of Christ to gain access into the heart. But you and I, we have the power to destroy those strongholds so that the light can shine, so that the glorious light of the gospel can shine. But this evening, I want us to take on that voice of, 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 of the new age. I don't even know what to call them. The voice that that is speaking uh, almost like a completely new uh, language out there calling good evil calling evil good those the voice that is saying everything that god has established is 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 wrong i want us to take a hold of those voices voices speaking against god's order in the family voices speaking against god's 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 creation in 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 creating man male and female voices speaking against the, the, the counsel of God concerning our children. And so I want us to begin to, to speak into the hearts of our children and influence them by, by speaking the voice, speaking by the voice of the Spirit. Because when you are speaking the Word of God, you are speaking the voice of the Spirit. And so when you speak that word into our children, we are countering and drowning all of that voice. So meet yourself and begin to overpower the voice of the antichrist the voice of of the of of the evil one the spirit of god says that we can restrain them we must restrain we must restrain so we restrain the agenda of the antichrist we restrain the agenda of the antichrist Break it, 
that the steps of a good man they are ordered of the lord psalm 37 verse 23 the steps of a, of a good man they are ordered of the lord and he takes delight in his journey he t- his light shines on the on the on the path of the steps of a good man i want you to begin to pray that your children's steps the steps of the children that god has given to your care that they will be ordered into the direction of healthy spiritual communities healthy social communities that everywhere they turn that they'll be led into communities that will enhance their relationship with the lord jesus and communities that will enhance their development and will enhance the blossoming of their destinies begin to pray concerning the their, their, their allegiances how they begin to deal with people how the people that they're connecting with that by the spirit of god they'll be destiny enhancing allegiances in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the bible says that evil communications corrupt good manners and that is why it is it is important that every one of those children you are praying for that they come into a healthy spiritual community the bible says in jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 he says i will give you pastors i will give you shepherds in other words spirit spiritual leaders who would teach you the knowledge of God, not spiritual leaders who would who would kidnap our sons and our daughters spiritually. And there are no children who, because they attended the church or the other, they have they have they have broken away from the family. They are not relating with the rest of the family. They have they have actually gotten worse than they were. I want you to believe God for the right spiritual company the right spiritual company the right social company for every child because they are not going to be there all the time and it doesn't matter the age of that child that all of their allegiances will come under the power of the holy spirit their teachers will teach and would would not be a negative influence in their spiritual journey in the name of jesus even in their intellectual journey in the name of jesus why don't you mute yourself and, and pray and say lord every connection that my child is making i bring under the leadership of the holy spirit i bring it under the light of the holy spirit so that wherever there is darkness let it be expelled by the dark by the light in the name of jesus be it amongst friends or 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 with what with mentors with coaches you are the one that orders the steps of a man you are the one that orders the steps of our children we commit to you all of our children that you will lead them into into your perfect will oh god let this that they will make choices that align with the with your perfect will Bring them, Lord, into contact with the those help us, those laborers who have assigned for our children. That even those that are working, 
and for those of us who are already thinking ah this child is far god i don't know how on earth they could ever find themselves in the four walls of a church you don't have to worry the god of the harvest has your back has your children's back the god of the harvest knows where to plant the particular laborer. I heard the story of a man who had run away from God, raised in church, but decided to run away from God, was into all sorts of, doubled into all sorts of rubbish that was not godly. And on this day, on one of his business trips, he was just, you know, hanging out in a hotel lobby and said hello to somebody. And, you know, just like a casual, oh, hi, hello. And then they just exchanged pleasantries. And in the course of discussions, they, they they actually exchanged numbers and before long I mean, the, 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 the other guy who was a believer managed to chip in one word or two, just something that wasn't even, a, he wasn't even trying to preach to him, but he kind of just gave him an inkling that he was a believer and, and months passed. It, uh, probably a year passed and this guy for some reason well not just for some reason for the for the reason of, of uh, for, as a result of what you and I are doing today he came into an encounter and who did he want to talk to was this person he met more than a year ago he, he just felt so uh, uh, he felt so empty and void on the inside and he needed somebody to talk to who did he call this stranger that had just had a, a, a few minutes chat with him over a year ago and we and the story goes that this man was able to to receive guidance from this stranger to the lord i want you to know that even th even though your child may not have turned up in the four walls of a church and i know i'm speaking to somebody tonight even though your child may not have turned up and I, when i say child you we're probably talking about an adult child right now who is able to make that decision on their own excuse me, even though they may not have been turning up in church or doing things that you would want them to do, that we all want them to be doing, I want you to continue in the place of prayer, continue to persevere, but continue to press it and put in your, put the log in the fire, let the fire of prayer continue to burn on behalf of those children, regardless of what it looks like. Like I always say to us, this whole reset my seed is not a sprint, it is a Marathon. We don't plan to give up. We continue to go and go and go and go, not by our might, not by our power, but by the Spirit of God. What am I saying? Keep praying for that child. Keep logging in time of prayer for that child. Make as as you, as long as you make it a consistent effort, you will you will begin to reap as the clouds become full of rain. It will pour down upon the earth. This evening, I encourage you. It doesn't matter what. What, what that child, how, how that child is behaving right now, I want you to lift him or her before the Lord, whether it is a, 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 a little child or a grown-up child, but that child that is giving you what they call grief, that, that child that is giving you a, a lot of nightmares, that I want you to bring them before the Lord this evening. I don't know who those children are right now, but let's, because they, they, those children belong to us, let's join our hands together in corporate prayer for every child that has that that we can say is causing a lot of trouble for the family i want you to bring them before the lord you can call them the prodigal you can call them the black sheep whatever you call them they are still the heritage of the lord and god is not giving up on them god is counting on you and i to give him the license to pull them 
back to himself. Glory be to God. The Jesus said, no one comes to me except the Father draws him. We begin to pray, Father, that you will draw the hearts of our sons and our daughters, particularly as we pray for those ones that are, that are pretty much high maintenance at the moment. We ask, Father, that you will draw them by your spirit. Draw them by your spirit. Draw them by your spirit. Reke soto korea dada. Unmute yourself. Let's make intercession for those that are children that are difficult to communicate with. Some of them have left home. Some of them have said they don't want to be a part of all this, this, all this Christianity stuff. It's just a figment of your imagination. Mommy, why do I have to go to church? Daddy, what do you mean there is God? What has God got to do with the whole, whole, the whole, the whole thing? Everything going on in the earth has nothing to do with God. Ah, tonight we bring them before the Father in the name of Jesus. Father, they are your children. Father, they are your children. And we come now to intercede for them. Break it so 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 so, brother. We pull down the struggles of the lies that have kept them away from the truth, from the light. Kota la la bo shada. Break it so so gruda. Break it si talabadosa. Sete to to to. Hite te di badosata. We re we rebuke the enemy. Robada sataria. Ah, kasoderia. Some of them are held uh, held down in addiction to all sorts of all sorts of vices, addiction to drugs. Arato uh, soto. Some of them have been manipulated and derailed from the path of destiny. Today we restore all of our children to the presence of God. All of us and daughters to the presence of God. Reke soto kodo shidaria. Look the destiny da boshada. We pray de 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 de. Every we destroy our wholesome soul ties. We destroy our wholesome soul ties. Destroy our wholesome soul ties. No do soul ties that bring our children away from the presence of God. We destroy them by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. on wholesome soul ties that have kept our children away from a, from a decent lifestyle. On wholesome soul ties, on wholesome soul ties, we are proved by the blood. We are proved by the blood. Jeremiah prophesied and said that you've been called to root out and to plant. And so we root out every unwholesome soul tie in La Brodo Sukaria that have kept our children in the in, 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 in living in lies. Le Kenya, some of them have chosen a path, uh, they have chosen lifestyles uh, that are contrary to the counsel of God, uh, lifestyles uh, of gambling, lifestyles of addiction, lifestyles uh, of sexual, of, of immoral sexual, sexual activities, uh, lifestyle of uh, 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 lifestyle contrary to the, to the, to the sexuality defined by the word of God, but we come by the blood. The Bible says concerning Hezekiah in 2 Kings chapter 18, he says Hezekiah destroyed the high places. Tonight we destroy the high places because we are kings as well. We destroy the high places of Baal, the high places of, of, of idolatry, that, that seeks to destroy the souls of our children. We bring those high places 
down. We bring them down in the name of Jesus. We, we raise the standard of the blood in La Brodo City in the lives of our children. We raise the standard of the blood. We raise the standard of the Holy Spirit. We raise the standard of the Word of God. We raise the standard of the Spirit of God in the lives of our children in the name of Jesus. Roko Sete Kidia Dabo Sata. Every voice speaking contrary to the Spirit of God. We built this moment. We built this moment in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call for helpers of destiny. We call for those that will recognize the, the, the destinies in the lives of our children and would introduce them. Those destiny, the destiny introducers, oh, destiny announcers, let them begin to rise up to their task. We quicken them. Oh, there may be somebody in the path of your children that ought to be speaking about them so that they will be announced in the right places. Begin to pray that the Spirit of God will quicken such destiny helpers, those that will announce your children. Kelly Galada Gosata, announce them to their world. Announce them in the name of Jesus. That's unnamed official in the palace that announced, announced David. We, th- we never knew his name. David probably never met him, but he announced David to Saul. He said, there is a son of Jesse that is good on the instrument. Oh, let there be one that will speak concerning your daughter, concerning your son, that will say, there is the son of this woman of God, of this man of God, Raka Sudalala, who is, who is suitable, who is qualified for this role, Reke Setokodia, one that recommends your child for the high place, for their seat in the palace, Le Satala, we quicken them now. Come on, church, mute yourselves as we pray for, for advancement for every child, advancement that the helpers of destiny will rise up to their task. Santo Totoria, Alato Sede, Iprodo Sede, Rokia Lala, Roko Bojede, Lopoto Sada, Helpers of Destiny, we quicken you in the name of Jesus. We quicken you in the name of Jesus. Oh, we deploy the angels of God to us in the destiny of our children. Sotodo Basata, Rosso Dede, Umaria Sadoto, Shantoto Toriva, Rekeria, Rekeria, Rosudaria, Rosso Toto, Dede, O Latasa, let me help, let there be help for my sons, my daughters, let there be help, help from on high. Hell from on high, hell from on high, Lord of Surround us, surround our daughters. Let the voice of favor speak for my daughter. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. We call for help. We call for help, divine help. We call for divine on time help. The Bible says in Psalm 46, our God will help help them right on time. Psalm 46 says, oh God will help her right on time. There is the river that makes glad the inhabitants of the tabernacles of God. The river makes glad the city of God. A paraphrasing of Psalm 46, it says, God is my refuge. 
God is my strength, the, uh, my very present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear. Though the earth be removed and be carried into the midst of the sea, though the mountains thereof roar. Ah, Leprodosoto, there is a river whose streams thereof make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of her. God, our helper, is in the midst of that river to help our sons, to help our daughters, to lift their hand, to put, take them across the threshold. The God that parted the Red Sea for his children to cross. That same God is at work in the lives of every child represented here to make a way for them in the academic journey, in the intellectual journey, in their working, in their, in their relationships, in their dealings, in their work life. God is our refuge. And we declare that the help of our God is present on time for every child represented here in Jesus precious precious name amen and amen amen we've gone past over half half the time let's just listen to a few announcements a big shout out to all first timers want to see your thumbs up we love you we appreciate you thank you also to all those that are giving to this work you help us to make the work happen god bless you we'll listen to an announcement testimony and we'll be right back to finish the prayer Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Over to you, Anansa. Thank you very much, Pastor Agatha. And thank you, everyone, for taking the time to join this evening to pray for your children and all the children that are in your spiritual care. If you would like to connect with our ministry, uh, you can go to our YouTube channel, Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. If you click on Playlists, You'll find the recordings of all our various uh, meetings and you can pray uh, along with the recordings and you can also uh, like them. You can share them with your loved ones. You can also connect with our ministry by sending us an email at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. And um, if you contact us, we will send you our ministry updates and you can send us your prayer requests, testimonies and feedback. We'll be taking communion at the end of this meeting, so please send us, um, sorry, so please have your communion emblems ready. Uh, thank you. We have a prayer school 104 that's continuing on the 27th of July. That will be session four, and the topic is effective fasting for prayer stamina. Uh, um, at the end of the announcements, I will post the link if you would like to register. If you have already registered, you don't need to register again. All the reminders will be sent to your email for each session. If you, this, if you would like to uh, be on our email distribution list, if you are, do not receive weekly emails from us and you would like to do so, please pop your email address in the chat and um, we will add you to our mailing list. Thank you. And with that, I would just like to go straight to our testimony for today. Today's testimony is a continuation of a testimony that was read out on the 1st of April, 2023. I will read out the April testimony and then continue with today's testimony. I would like to give a testimony about a young lady I've been praying for on Reset My Seed, who is quite close to my family. She works for one of the big four consulting companies in London and is taking her professional exams in her area of specialization while working at the company. She's done a number of exams and, and passed. The company policy is that she can only take each exam once. She took one of the exams earlier this year in 2023, having studied hard. She was a bit unwell just before the exam. She contemplated uh, skipping the exam, but in the end, she decided to take it. When the results were released, she missed the pass mark by a few points. So she was very worried because she was going to have to face a panel where the decision would be taken as to whether she would be asked to leave the company. When I found out, I prayed and took it back to God. Pastor Agatha always encourages us to pray for all our children going through a selection process to make room for them in the realm of the spirit. So I asked for favor. The last thing that came to me was to pray that God would raise a Gamaliel in the room to speak for her. She called me a few days before the panel meeting date, and I prayed for her. I asked for the, meet, for the time of the meeting, and I kept praying while she was in the meeting, and I told her not to worry. The meeting was a day after her birthday. 
I asked her to ask God for a special birthday present and that the company policy would be waived for her. And that's exactly what happened. The panel decision was to give her another chance to take the exam. We also agreed that next time she takes the exam, she would pass with flying colors. So she's going to take the, retake the exam soon. And now for part two of the testimony. In late May of this year, 2023, she took the exam again to, and to the glory of God, she passed. She continues to work in the company and is now studying for her next, next set of exams. Hallelujah, our God is faithful. I give all the glory to God and I thank you all for all your prayers that reset my seed because I know that we do not only pray for our biological children, we are, all, we are, we are also praying for one another's children. We join our faith together to lift each other up. Thank you. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Hallelujah. We join our faith together. Come on, church. Let's join our faith in thanksgiving right now. I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that testimony. Hallelujah. You, Unmute yourself and give some praise to God. Hallelujah. Thank him because that is the victory. The victory for one is the victory for all. Victory for one is the victory for all. Thank you for making a way. Thank you for making a way. Brothers and sisters, Paul said in the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, and from verse one, he says there will be terrible times in the last. Days. We're already in the last of the last days. So you can imagine how terrible the days are. It says people will be lovers of themselves. In other words, selfishness will be on steroids. And you can tell that there's selfishness so rampant in the in the next generation. Of course, there's selfishness in my generation as well, but nothing compares to what we see in the next generation. And Paul also said there'll be lovers of money. There'll be boastful. They'll be prideful. They'll be abusive. They will be disobedient to parents. They will also be ungrateful, unholy, unforgiving, without love. They'll be slanderous. They'll be without self-control. They'll be brutal. They will not They'll be, uh, they will not be lovers of good. They'll be treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Hallelujah. This is what the scripture says that is, is going to be rampant in this time. And so when we see those things showing up, we know that it's not just, it's not just a, a figment of our imagination. We know it is the spirit of the Antichrist that is trying to seep into the lives of of our children. And so we want to pray for our children and begin to debunk all of these characteristics, particularly pride, laziness, you know, attitude to a, a, a good work ethic. You know, the scripture says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4, lazy hands make for poverty. That's the NIV translation. It says he becomes poor that deals with a slack hand. That is an attitude that does not bring prosperity. I want us to begin to pray over our children that as they as they run the race of life, as they, as they deal in life, that they begin to work with healthy work ethics, that they will not make excuses anymore, that they will not be lazy, that they will not be filled with procrastination. And of course, they will not be prideful. The Bible says that pride goes before for destruction. A lot of our children, they are so prideful because they think they know. They think that, oh, you, mommy, you don't know anymore. You don't know. You don't know much. I know a 
not more than you are saying now. They don't. They may not say that to you, but they may mean that in their heart. That's a prideful heart. I want us to begin to pray for a cleansed attitude, an attitude that is filled with the light of the Holy Spirit, purging and cleaning out the rubbish of the of the of the end times from the hearts of our children so that they will emerge those they will emerge as beacons of light as the scripture says in a crooked and perverse nation in the name of jesus we bring before you father all of our sons and our daughters that god that you will grant them a cleansing of attitudes a cleansing of of behavior a cleansing of desires in the name of jesus that you will read us sons and our daughters of pride, of laziness, of a, of a life of excuses, of a life of procrastination, a life, a life of, of lies, deceits, lying to themselves. A life that, that seeks to, to, to chase after money. The Paul said they'll be lovers of money or not our children. In the name of Jesus, what am I saying as we pray in the spirit this evening? I want us to take Take exemption for every child of from all of these vices that I have I have uh, mentioned. Lovers of uh, lovers of themselves. That means selfishness. Lovers of money. Boastful, prideful, abusive, disobedient. To all of these vices. They are they are they are they are, they are expressions of the spirit of the antichrist. And this evening we stand in the place of intercession to pull down to 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 raise the standard of Holy Spirit. Again against all such in the name of Jesus so mute yourself let's pray roko setebre nehida lala reki seto koria nahada a cleansing of attitudes lord a cleansing of attitudes lord lebrodo seteriana grant our children a cleanse social skills oh the secondia social skills that are cleansed lekrodo sataria they will be reasonable they will deal with humility they will deal Lord, Lord, in you give grace to the humble, Lord, help my son, help my daughter, back in a humble disposition at all times. The Roko Sata Braga Shida, the Brodo Seteria, the Brodo Huzata, the Brede Hizetete, the Brodo Huzata, the Dede Dede, the Roko Shoto, the Dede, let your grace be blessed, the grace of God, the grace of God, the grace of God, the <laughs> The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble. Grace is a, is a merited favor. That favor we're always praying about. It comes to the humble just by default. God gives grace to the humble. And so tonight we're praying that humility will be a watchword in the hearts of our children. I know we could have prayed for other prayer points, but these things are important because this is what attracts the favor of God. This is what attracts the 
favor of men. I'm particularly concerned about the social skills of our children. Some of them are not respectful. And so by default, they shut the doors of favor. I want us to begin to pray that the favor of God, that understanding of humility will be revealed to our children. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2, it says, when pride comes, disgrace follows, but with humility comes wisdom. I read to you another proverb. It says, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23, a man's pride will bring him low, but a humble spirit will obtain honor. Honor is what we want for our children, but that means we also want them to be humble. Some of our children, in the name of confidence, they are prideful. You know it. You know when they speak to you and they have not, they, they have done so without respect. You can tell, even though when, even though they're trying to cover it, as though, oh yeah, I'm just speaking my mind, I'm being confident. You know, to be confident and to be prideful, they're two different things. We want the Spirit of God to engage the souls of our children, their minds, their will, their emotions, and read them of all these vices that the Antichrist walks with. The pride, deceitfulness, uh, uh, also boastful attitude to life, disobedience, ingratitude, always feeling feeling entitled. I want us to believe God. I know we could pray for other things, but this is the will of God so that our children will attract the true favor of God. God gives grace to the humble. And it is that kind of humble attitude that fuels the spirit of favor in their direction. Hallelujah. Omit yourself. Let's pray some more. Let us as we begin to pray into their relationship. Relationships, <laughs> the social media is filled with influencers it's filled with all kinds of influencers but we know what influencer what influencer that we can 
that is indispensable in the life of any human being upon the earth. His name is the Holy Spirit. And this evening, we want to ask that the Holy Spirit will influence our children, that he will influence their thoughts, influence their desires, influence their choices, influence their, their, their will, their emotions, influence their, their, their attitudes, influence them across board, influence their work ethics, the Holy Spirit, the greatest influencer. Jesus said, when I, will, I, will, I will send the Holy Spirit and he will be with you forever. Oh, Holy Spirit, we ask that your ministry will prosper in the lives of our children, that your influence will drown the influence of all others in the name of Jesus, that your voice will sound loudest in the ears of our children. We come to the communion table with this desire, oh Lord, that you will influence our sons and our daughters, that you will influence our children, you will influence all of the children represented here in the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever they will be right now, wherever they might be right now, we ask, oh God, that your influence will rest upon their soul, rest upon their mind, rest upon their hearts, rest upon their desires, rest upon their, their, their footsteps in the name of Jesus. You are the influencer. You are the influencer. Jesus said to his disciples, don't leave Jerusalem until the greatest influencer comes. Hallelujah. And you, what he was talking about, the Holy Spirit, he was talking about you, Lord. Lord, even as you have come, influence our sons and our daughters, influence them in the, in the, so that they have the right work ethics, they have the right attitude, they are respectful, they are humble, they attract the, 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 the spirit of wisdom, of, of favor, they attract the spirit of wisdom, they attract the help of heaven in the name of Jesus. Wherever they are right now, we bring the influence of the Holy Spirit to rest upon every one of our children. For adventure, they might be where they ought not to be. We zap them away from that vicinity by the influence of the Holy Spirit, by the influence of the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at that Sata Koshada. One second, please, 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 just give me 30 seconds for those ones, for those our children that have been lied to by the new age, the new age uh, uh, movement. Lute Deke Sota, we destroyed the yoke of new age movement that has been that has been planted or seeks atten the attention of our children. We destroy it right now over that daughter in particular who has been lied to who has who who, who, who has been influenced by the new age movement or oh, proto satasa somebody says what's the new age movement movement it is that movement that enthrones the self in the unholy trinity of self everything is about how they feel everything is about what they think if it feels good do it no 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 barriers no 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 reference point no no respect for god they they they, they are their own god uh, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we redeem our sons and our daughters from the shackles and the lies of the New Age movement. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, we release our faith at this communion table right now. Jesus said, healing is the children's bread. And so we release our faith for the healing of the bodies, for the healing of the mind, for the healing of emotions, for healing of feelings, for healing of the intellect. We release our faith at this communion communion table that the healing power of God will surge through the physical and mental health of every child represented here, surge through their, their every cell and organ of their body. In the name of Jesus, we say that as we break bread this evening, as we partake of this communion table, we enforce the death of our Lord Jesus Christ against sickness, against, against calamities. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we destroy the yokes of the enemy seeking to 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 seeking to uh, to, to, to cage our children, that barato sata, that son that has been caged, that son that has been deceived and therefore caged by the lies of the enemy, by the lies of his friends. We destroy the yokes of those lies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and take your communion. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Father. Let's thank the Lord together. Let's thank him. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. Your name be glorified in the lives of our children. Your name be exalted in the lives of our children. We give you all the glory and all the praise forever and ever. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Anybody out there amen. who would say amen? amen. amen. The church amen. says amen. 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 So, so be it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Just before we take... Yeah. Just before we take the grace, we just want to, I just want to quickly remind you that we're praying for our marriages on Wednesday. The next Wednesday is the Wednesday, the uh what date is that now? Wednesday the 19th of July. We are praying for our marriages because we believe that marriage is honorable in all and so we're going to be praying passionately for our marriages please join us at 7 30 p.m to 8 30 p.m uk time and we will be making power available for the greatest relationship Amen. that god Amen. has established the very first one he established just after he established a relationship between man and god he established a relationship between man and woman and so i want to i want us to take it seriously join us on wednesday night and we will be making power available thank you so so much for joining a huge god bless you to all of you for for your commitment to the prayers for your children amen let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god we face fellowship of the holy spirit with us now and forever